Black Friday. This is Lorraine Purcell. I'm so delighted that you joined me. I'm so delighted that you're here in person or watching the replay because you know what? There's nothing more important than you relaxing, letting go, and healing your body, healing your nervous system, and healing your adrenals and giving everything a chance to catch up with itself. Giving you a chance to catch up with you, giving you a chance to breathe. And uh, as you jump on, go ahead and tell me who you are uh, while I tag some folks. I'm just so happy to be, I am so happy to be here today with you guys. It's been a, a long week. You know, every week is like a journey, right? So uh, welcome to the warm, welcome to the safety, and um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, tag and share with anybody who needs this deep relaxation. We are in such a high-paced, high... -paced, high um, stress life and it's not fun and it's not good for us and we need to decompress every day but especially for these body talk fridays they're just so healing and i get healed myself even though i'm the one doing them <laughs> it uh i do it for me too so still tagging while you're joining. Would you go ahead and think of other people that you know who need this healing? Actually, every woman does. We are so pushed. We are so pulled. We are so driven by guilt and doubt and shame. And I'm here to call an end to that. And in fact, I am going to um, be doing a workshop um, on October 29th called Emotional Freedom Now. And I can't wait to share that with you. I'll have the registration page up probably Monday. So keep your eyes peeled in your inbox and here on Facebook so you can get that registration link. It's a live workshop I'm giving um, at a spiritual community in uh, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what shows up at this seminar. But it's definitely guaranteed to get you closer to yourself to come back home to yourself, I think I got everybody, to come back home to yourself, to come back home to the peace. And I'm not used to this being so far away from me. I like it. I like to be right up with you. So let's see. Here we go. If I go this way. This way, yeah. Okay, so grab your coffee grab your tea i've been drinking matcha tea lately um i'm um not doing coffee because when i was um on my three-day camping trip solo which was incredibly enlightening um and i invite you all and that's Anne. hey Anne. love you sweetheart love you love you darling so glad you're here um, tag and share with anybody you know who needs to relax their nervous system and heal their adrenals. Hold on. So, um, you know, they say coffee is good for you, and I'm sure there are some aspects that are good for you. In fact, I used to grow coffee. I used to be a coffee plantation owner in Kona, Hawaii. I, was, I had six acres of 100-year-old Kona coffee trees. And uh, lived completely off the grid as a coffee farmer for six years with my former partner, my beautiful former partner. 
who still lives there and is so happy there. And, um, but when you try to get off coffee, do you notice how painful it is and how much your body has to detox from it? And that's just to me an indicator that it's not that good for us. If, if our body gets so addicted to it, and it's the caffeine, I'm sure, um, if our body gets so addicted to it that it hurts that much, where you feel like you have the flu for a day. Uh, so I've been drinking matcha tea, and uh, it has a little caffeine in it. <laughs> oh, I love you, Anne. Thank you. Uh, it does have caffeine in it, but only 16 milligrams, or a cup of coffee has like 96 or something like that. So you can drink a lot of cups of this, and it's highly antioxidant. <clears throat> uh, the, the leaves are actually ground up. It's a green tea where the leaves are actually ground up, and you actually drink the leaves. So you're not just steeping and leaving stuff in the leaves. So um, I'm really enjoying matcha tea. So I just wanted to pass that tip on to you. So this is the day when we <clears throat> are scanning our bodies where, okay, Friday is Body Talk Fridays. Monday is Fairy Godmother Mondays. And on Mondays, we set our intention for the week. Mine was to have more fun this week. And I really did. And in fact, I'm continuing to have more fun. I'm going to have lunch with a new friend today, a late lunch. I had another lunch today, which was awesome. I'm not today, but this week. And I have been having more fun this week. So what was your intention that you set on Monday and how did you do with that? Go ahead and drop it in the comments. And I just want to start following up with you on your one intention for the week. And on Friday, be like your accountability partner. How did you actually do? So I actually did have more fun. And um, so today is the day where we integrate and we go back into our bodies and we seek our bodies wisdom for what is it that it needs from us this weekend to heal and to nurture and nourish ourselves and to calm our nervous system and to heal our adrenals so that we are off the, the rat race, we are off the hamster wheel and we are giving our bodies a chance to step back. And I always recommend time in nature because that is um, where you go through, like when I took myself on my three day solo camping trip, um, I went through fear. I went through boredom, like uh, boredom, because we're so used to having so much stimulus. And the big part to healing our nervous systems is to unplug from the stimulus, unplug from social media, unplug from um, the distractions, unplug from your family. Train them that you have alone time every day where you're not to be disturbed. Teach them to do things for themselves rather than depending on you. Um, we are so whipped around by our families and by guilt and by shame if we don't do the deal and fear. And so I'm all about just showing you how to come back to that. Um, just a little bit about my background. I'm a marriage, family, and child counselor, 24 years as an empowerment coach, educational therapist. <clears throat> and um, I work a little differently now. I do a lot of these uh, group programs and live streams here for you so for more of my work go to three keys to selflove.com the number three keys like you put in your car to selflove.com and get my free ebook there which will take you through my journey to self-love from self-loathing loathing and lifelong suicidal depression uh, into healing myself six years ago and getting off an 18-year addiction to zoloft uh, with the help of a coach, do not do that by yourself. If you want to get off your meds, please uh, see your doctor and let them know, and they'll put you on a course of decreasing the amount until you can come off. But I'm of the belief now that any diagnosis really is your your uh, gift. And how to find your gift in your diagnosis and stay on your meds, certainly, but in the work that I do, it's about you 
knowing that you are sitting in the middle of mental health right now. You just don't know it. And when we have these thoughts that are accused, accusational, when we have these thoughts that say, you know, you're not enough, you're not worthy, there's something wrong with you, we take that personally and we believe it and we listen to it. And I'm about turning that around. As I brought myself into emotional freedom, that is my, my message is to show you how to come into emotional freedom because I see so many beautiful earth angel types and empath types and what I now call ultra sensitives um, because earth angel felt still victim-y to me and um, empaths still it feels a little victim-y to me and so I'm all about coming out of victimhood and into empowerment and so I like the term ultra sensitive and plus the accurate the abbreviation is us for us because it really is all of us bring us into an empowered state of discerning these thoughts that just go through our head and not believing the bad feelings when they come. What do we do instead? That's what my workshop on October 29th is going to be all about. If you're excited about wanting to know about that, just please reach out to me either on private message or um, email me Lorraine at LorrainePurcell.com and I will send you the link as soon as I have it up. But it's going to be October 26th from 2 to 5. It's a three-hour workshop, live workshop, and I'm going to be televising, live streaming, so you can buy a live stream ticket. And I'm just going to be opening up to source and channeling in exactly what's needed for all the participants because there's so many different directions that I could go on this. Uh, hi, Vicki. Hello, my love. So good to see you. So, so many directions I can go. I have a you know, it's been my life's work really to uh, bring myself out of not feeling good about myself and helping others feel good about themselves. So I have such a wealth. But the big thing I want to say is to carve out time for you. Carve out alone time for you. Alone time for you where you are in stillness. Stillness is the key, ladies. Stillness is the keys. And if there, if there are any gentlemen here, <clears throat> stillness is the key. Stillness, stillness, stillness. Unplugging from the noise so that you can hear your thoughts. Can you do that? Can you enter into that space right now with me and into that space this weekend? Can you commit to entering into that space this weekend where you're away from the noise? where you're taking a nap, where you're relaxing, where you're tuning into your inner wisdom. This is the key. This is the key. And on my live streams and in my workshops, you get the frequency of this calmness. You get the frequency of your sovereignty because you are sovereign. I'm here to announce to you that you are sovereign. You are sovereign. Your family doesn't own you. Your husband doesn't own you. Your partner or your boyfriend doesn't own you. Your mother and father, sisters and brothers don't own you. Your employer does not own you. You own yourself. You are sovereign. You are sovereign. And coming into that place where you deeply honor yourself is vital to calming your nervous system and healing your adrenals. Because I would venture to guess that 80% um, of the women who will watch this video um, will are in adrenal exhaustion, at least adrenal fatigue. And it's not pretty. It's not kind to our bodies. It's not kind to ourselves. And in that lies also the dilemma of comparing ourselves to others and thinking that we're not enough. And then you add to that the voice in our head that says we're not enough. It will never be enough that there's something wrong with us. And it's just, I'm inviting you to come into this world of knowing what's right about you. And that there's everything right about you and nothing wrong about you. And that allows you to be in a gracious space where you can be kind to the people who might put pressure on you and put guilt and shame on you because you don't jump through hoops doing their selfish bidding for them. Does anyone understand this? Is this resonating with anybody? If this is resonating with you, go ahead and tell me in the comments because... 
um, it's just, it's cruel. And we have been taking it as women and men for centuries, centuries, eons, eons. And I know there are a few, a few men who tune into this too, and it's the same thing for them too. I mean, they're the earth angel type, but it's the ultra sensitives. I just found out an interesting fact that empaths are only 2% of the population. So we're a very small percentage. We feel emotions and we think they're ours, but they're not ours. They are actually, we're picking them up from other people. Fear, anxiety, panic. We're, we're feeling it from everybody around us. In fact, sometimes when we have fear, it's fears, fear of us. It's how fear feels about us because we are so powerful. So that's my whole message. So let's just take some deep breaths. And this is your time to just heal yourself and come into your wholeness. Heal yourself and come into your wholeness. Heal yourself. deep breath and see a grounding cord going down to the center of Mother Earth. And tether to Mother Earth and ask her what is her message for you and then drop it in the comment. Vicki, I know that you have had some revelations and some breakthroughs on taking time for yourself and honoring yourself. Drop in the comments how that has been for you. Mother Earth's message for me, Mother Earth's acronym is ME, which means me, which means who cares, as long as you're getting the message. Um, her message to me is be confident know who you are. Thank you, Mother Earth. All right. And now let's come up through our bodies. We're going to do a counterclockwise white light spin all the way up through our bodies. Just see this white light effervescing, bubbly, life-giving light coming all the way up through your body in a counterclockwise spin up through your feet, up through your leg channels. If you feel something in your body that hurts, go ahead and put your hands there and let that energy come in. Up, 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 up. Thank you for all the hearts, my love. Up, 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 healing, healing, cleaning out every single toxin in your body. Just filling every single of your 60 trillion cells. See it getting tossed out with a centrifugal force of this white light effervescent energy coming up through your body, up through your body, up through your body, up through your body, up, 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 up. Just feeling to stop at our hips. Do your do a a, a movement of your hips. If you're a man or a woman, just move your hips, rotate, 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 rotate. You might want to stand up and move your hips. This is something I really invite you to do. If sovereignty is uh, something that's a challenge for you, if you feel pulled and guilty for saying no and saying yes to yourself, Loosen up this area. Just declare your sovereignty. Move those hips in as big of a circle as you can. Vicki, Mother Earth, enjoy the season as my leaves fall and we move into a new beautiful chapter. Love it, darling. Ah, oh, yes. So let's put love into our pelvic floor, into our our reproductive organs into this area that is this um, um, the first and second chakra are the survival and creativity uh, red and orange so just um, put your hands there 
maybe while you move your hips a little bit and just put tons of love see gold and pink healing white healing light into this area just douse it with love just love 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 this is the area where we carry the most shame but it is the most powerful area in our body okay this is where we this is where we began it's called the dantian in china it's very 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 powerful it's the source of who we are so just infuse this area if you feel a sensation there just welcome it it's time that we bring attention and love back to our pelvic floor i'll just call it pelvic floor um that's just an easy way to call it let's just say the first and second chakras pelvic floor reproductive organs love 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 this area bears such a brunt that's why we have prolapses. That's why we have um, yeast infections. That's why we have, um, it hurts for intercourse because this area has been so abused by society, by the church. You know, so much shame, so much shame, right? I wanna remove that, I wanna reverse that. Let's just Lots of love and attention. Oh, yes. Our colon, our small intestines, our appendix, appendix, our ilium. Now just move up. Just see all these organs just get illuminated and lit up with healing energy. Okay? Just healing, renewal energy. Just see the tissues being pink and bright. And anything that's not serving it is just getting moved out. So just feel it, feel it, feel it. I can feel so much energy coming out of my hands, you guys. Oh, gosh. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Okay, coming up, the liver. Let's put our hands on our liver. It's on our right side, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure it's on the right side. That big liver that we love so much, just give attention to our liver. Love, 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 love. Oh, and I think the liver holds anger. So if you have a lot of anger, you might uh, need to give extra love to your liver, but it's just making me laugh right now. <laughs> love to your liver, love to your liver, love to your liver. Ah, oh, that's an oxytocin breath. When you uh, say, ah, oh, oxytocin breath. Just let it come out, let it come out. It's declaring to the world that you are serious about relaxing. Ah, oh, healing to your liver. See all the particles of your liver just being coming back and restored to wholeness, 100% wholeness and completeness. Let's go to your gallbladder. I think it's, again, I have a feeling it's on the left side, but I'm not sure. I need to study anatomy, but not really, because I just let spirit lead me. So let's just put wherever you think your gallbladder is and just put some love to our gallbladder. Um, gallbladder removal is one of the most common surgeries and I actually did a healing on a young woman who had had her gallbladder removed. We actually went to that cavity where her gallbladder was and sent love to it. And it was in her lower right area. But again, I'm not sure <laughs> if anybody knows, can drop it in the comments. But wherever you think your gallbladder is, we're just putting oh so much love and appreciation to your gallbladder. So much love and appreciation. Now, let's send a, so much appreciation to pelvic floor, sexual organs, large intestines, small intestines, appendix, gallbladder, liver. We're gonna keep moving up, so so much appreciation. My heart is swelling right now from appreciation of all of these organs. My body is so beautiful and I love my body so much. I, I laid in an Epsom salt bath this morning and I just was touching my body going, 
Oh, you're just so beautiful. I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Our body responds to this. It's like a pet that you love. Vicki, it's like your little doggies that you love so much. And it's like your little nieces and nephews that you love so much. If we stroke our body and we just say, I love you, 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 it will pay you back. Our body is so starved for attention and love. And the attention that we give our body is usually, oh, look at that fat. Oh, look at that cellulite. Oh, look at that blob. No, ladies, let's let's give ourselves the love and attention we are looking to others to give us. Because they can't, they can't, they can't satisfy that need. It's within us to give to ourselves. So just put your hands on your skin. Didn't even think of our skin. Put your hands on your skin. How much we appreciate our feet, how much we appreciate our legs and our joints and our blood and our blood vessels and our arteries and our muscles and our fascia and our connective tissue and our bones and our marrow in our bones. Oh my gosh. And the cartilage. How much appreciation. So just sending appreci deep appreciation to our bodies. Vicki, I drove seven miles out of town. Hold on. Not too far. Hold on. <laughs> seven miles out of town. Okay. Two weeks ago, first time in seven years, so let the racing thoughts go and do what you think. You fear and feel amazing with the outcome of going for it and doing it. Oh, Vicki, that is so wonderful. I am so proud of you. I love you so much. Um, I also found a me mechanic angel who fixed my brakes. I had a brake line broke and made it home. Wow. And also fixed my exhaust for free. I baked his family five dozen chocolate chip cookies. Life is good. Oh, that is such a beautiful story, Vixter. Love you so much, girlfriend. That is so beautiful. Appreciation for magic. <laughs> oh, Vicky. We haven't done that joke in a while. I need to watch that movie again. I prefer Magic Mike too. Um, appreciation for Magic Jar Mark, Magic Mike, and George Clooney. Okay, so Magic Mike and George Clooney are Vicky's neighbors on either side of her house. <laughs> I soak my feet in Epsom salt. Love it. I only have a shower, but magnesium D3 and B12 with lots of water and coarse, and of course naps. An amazing self love. Yeah, and it has healed your body, hasn't it? Uh, I have to throw my men in there, of course. <laughs> oh, I love you. Okay, and laughing. Oh my God, laughing, laughing. We have to laugh. Find funny stuff. <laughs> Okay, where were we? Let's go to our stomach, our lungs, and just picture the organs as we do this. Um, kidneys, our adrenals, our nervous system, our nervous system, <laughs> our esophagus, our heart, our beautiful heart. Let's just start. Let's just say so much appreciation to all those organs that I just named and our hand on our heart. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then our, so our throat. Our rotator cuffs. 
all the joints in our fingers. I love you and I made you laugh. It makes my day. Yeah, you really did, man. I snorted up my nose. I feel like I, I inhaled um, pool water. Do you know that feeling? You made me laugh so hard. I think I inhaled snot or something. <laughs> Our jaws, our teeth, the ability to make good decisions, quick decisions, overcoming indecisiveness, our gums. <clears throat> Just put, I'll put our palms of our hands right here and this for the healing of our gums and our teeth and the roots of our teeth. And then our ears. And then our eyes. White light healing energy to our eyes. And our brain. And the third eye. Now let's just take our hands and go all the way up our body, all the way up our body, all the way up our body, invoke our archangels, our angels, our heavenly team to guide us every step of the way today. And I'm going to draw a card from our deck. Rebecca Campbell, work your light. Okay, the great gathering, the great gathering. It says, it's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. This is definitely a soul tribe. You know, I'm all about healing the body and honoring the body. I am a healer. Um, A great gathering. So anytime you want your body healed, tune in. Stay connected to my work. The Great Gathering 100. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. Soul tribe. You are being called to let your intuition move you physically. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. Oh, I forgot. With all this good energy for our, for our bodies, let's now send out our, our hands around the globe. And send all this love and all this energy out around the globe. Okay, great. Love you, Vix. All this energy all around the globe, all around the globe, all around the globe, all around the globe. You see you sending white light from your hands all the way around the earth, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. There you go. There you go. We're sharing it, we're moving it. Okay? That's the power you have within you to do any time. If you're awake in the middle of the night, you can stop and just do this. It gives you something to do while you're laying there. <laughs> All right. You are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. And as you travel and share your creations, something is rethreaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at the soul level or that are you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission. 
and um, hey Mary. Oh, okay, that's funny. Well, sometimes fake book is kind of strange, but thank you for joining me, Mary. You are part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line, and the planet. And that's what I'm just feeling more and more my calling is, is just to, I mean, you've got so much information out there. You don't need any more bullshit information. You need to come into stillness and calm your body and heal your nervous system and heal your adrenals that you can live long and prosper. And this is my message, to be in stillness, to be in calmness, to anchor your energy to the earth, to be grounded while you're completely connected to your heavenly team and feeling the, your guidance from source energy. Okay, it is that complete way of walking on the planet. It's powerful. This is where I'm going in my work, in my life's work. So again, put on your calendar October 26th. Next week, I will have the registration site for um, Emotional Freedom Now, um, a three-hour workshop that I'm going to be live streaming from um, a spiritual center in um, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and you're invited. So I'll have the registration link um, up next week. I was going to do it today, but I'm just not feeling it. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it because it's not fun. <laughs> Next week it'll be fun. And besides, I'm getting taken to lunch today. So I may. I just, you know, I'll see. When you let go of all the have tos and all the bullshit, you can, uh, you can choose. And that's the whole thing, choosing. Being able to choose instead of the have tos. Freedom from the choosing. So I'm all about emotional freedom emotional freedom being being in that suit of being emotionally free all right where was i to raise the consciousness to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come one of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself okay so along the lines of focusing on what's good about you instead of what's wrong with you I want you to focus on what's good about the earth and what's whole and beautiful about the earth instead of, you know, the bullshit devastation and the oil spills. And yes, 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 fuck, 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 yes. But you know what? As we focus on what's beautiful and what's whole and what's wonderful and do our part, we're already at a tipping point. We are already at a positive tipping point. Because one who's in alignment is more powerful than a million who are not. Do you get that? As we are in alignment and we stay in feeling good and staying feeling happy, and it's okay to not be happy. I was not happy for a long, long time. It's okay to not be happy. Not a thing that you have to be happy. But as you stay in honoring yourself and loving yourself and noticing everything beautiful and Vicky noticing her birds and me noticing the birds and me, you know, nurturing my plants and just making things more beautiful and wonderful and wonderful and wonderful and wonderful and wonderful and wonderful and noticing everything that's wonderful. We magnify that. Okay. We contribute to the tipping point. Okay. The positive tipping point. So my, my inspiration to you is to Focus on what's right about you and what's right about the earth, not the devastation. No, please don't focus there. It will just expand and make more of it. And as you complain about it and complain about people who throw trash, you will make more of it. No. Send them love. Send them um, evolvement, consciousness. That's what I do. I pick up trash and then I just send love to them that that every hand that touched this trash that they're um they become enlightened make it a game you're the powerful one you're the one with the knowledge you're the two percent who's the empath empaths are only two percent of the world you guys we're a very small small group but we're so powerful 
okay? We're so powerful. So we're here to lift that vibration of the planet, okay? And watch this replay so you do completely heal and wash your body. Let's do a total body washing today. It's time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share what is real and true to you and you share the medicine that you most need, those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. You are your tribe. Um, they are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Hold the card to your heart. I'll do that for all of us. Here's the card, Mary. It's called The Great Gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. Um, hold it to your card. Say, I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. That's the calling, ladies and gentlemen. So sending you so much love, so much appreciation. Um, share this with whoever you think could use healing for their nervous system to calm down, to to the encouragement to be in nature alone this weekend. When I mean alone, I mean without your kids, without your dog maybe, with just your journal, not even your phone. If you have your phone with you, turn it off. But aloneness, aloneness. And being alone with nature can be sitting with a tree in your backyard, but telling everybody to leave you alone. This is your alone time. It's time for you to be sovereign and stake out your place. Okay, if you're really bold, take yourself camping like I did for three nights by yourself. You will travel through boredom. You will travel through what the fuckness. You will travel through fear. And then you will get to the peace. And that's what we need is this deep peace. So I'll see you Monday for Fairy Godmother Monday. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for doing this for you, for healing your body, because as you Heal your body and become strong and calm your nerves. You will heal your adrenals and you will live long and prosper. And that's what we're here for. That's what's so important. Okay, I love you, love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you Monday. Hi, Stacy. So sorry, I'm just getting off. So go ahead and watch the replay because I did a total body white light healing, went through every single organ that I could think of. <laughs> Probably use them in different spots than they really are. But go ahead and watch the replay because you're going to love it. It's going to completely heal your body and uplift your system. Okay. Mm, sending so much love. I'll see you Monday for Fairy Godmother Monday. Right here, um, 8.30 a.m. Eastern. And uh, for more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com. The number three, keys like you put in your car, 2selflove.com. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.